And the Bible says, stone the homos and let there be light. So, Pastor Manning's at it again. If it's not bad enough that he's blaming black celebrities for everything, he's back to blaming the homos. And put up this notice board. Pastor Manning of the Atla Missionary Church, which sounds very close to the word Allah. Yeah, you see where I'm going with that? Um, is, yeah, nuts. Obviously, he believes that religion is law, whether or not it is or not. He made a video telling all Christians that they should be stoning the homos. Of course, that video has been taken down. I'd love to show it to you, but I didn't even get the chance to grab it before it got taken down. Now, this man is just playing fucking doolally. So this week, we are focusing on this moment. Born in February the 20th in 1947 in Red Springs, North Carolina, he is now the chief pastor of the Atla World Missionary Church on 123rd Street in New York. Uh, he was born to an African American family and has been at the Atla since 1981. Uh, those wondering what Atla stands for, it's the All the Land Anointed Holy. Basically, it's Harlem. Um, and it was previously called the Bethelite Missionary Baptist Church and he obviously, obviously has a theological seminary there which offers classes in preaching and prophecy and teaching you how to be a priest. He also has an online web series uh, and he criticizes negative black influence of celebrities, homosexuals and apparently President Obama and the alleged criminal acts that he's been doing. I've got a statement I'm going to make shortly. Uh, and this statement is this, it's respect to the pres presidential election with Obama, Barack Obama, and the other political candidates vying for the be president of the United States of America. And all of these uh, uh, repentant, if you will, uh, white folk who have found themselves a good Negro. They have found themselves a good Negro, and so they're going to vote for him. Now, that's kind of Negro. Uh, Jesse Jackson, look over there at, at uh, here's what the, all, all those middle America white folk are saying. Here's what they're saying. All those liberal, bleeding heart white folk. Here's what they're saying. Jesse Jackson, look over there. Now, if you'll be a good boy like Barack, and don't talk bad to us, don't smart mouth us, and don't talk about us, don't say nothing about us, we'll vote for you too. See, Barack's a good Negro. He doesn't say anything mean to us. Look how nice he is. He smiles nice. He greets us nice. He even kisses our baby. Sharpton, now if you be like Sharpton, Sharpton, if you'll be like Barack, we'll vote for you too. I am Pastor James David Manning of the Atla World Missionary Church in Harlem, New York, here to inform you of Oprah Winfrey's many years hidden disdain for white folk and her contempt for white women in particular now revealed at the recent Obama rally at UCLA University. I want you to pay careful attention to some statements that Oprah made and her zealous support of Barack Hussein Obama, and she mimicked the voice of middle America white woman and then asserted that she did not care what middle America white women thought. She was voting for Barack Hussein Obama, who is black. So, in a large sense, she is saying, I'm aligning myself with black folk over against any justice uh, towards aligning that myself with white folk who have supported me and made me the billionaire that I am over these many years. Um, of course, when he grew up, it was segregated, so, you know, blacks, whites, everything like that. And he was picked cotton and tobacco. So he was a slave. Um, and basically he was then a thief and burgled 
hundreds of homes and then spent a long, long time in prison. And when he was in prison, he decided that he was going to become a devoted Christian. And then he went to a seminary and got the Master of Divinity Award in 85 and did graduated studies in religion. A doctorate in philosophy from his own seminary at the Atchela Church, um, which is not even an accredited educational institution. So pretty much he just gave himself a doctorate. Dickhead. Goes on about wanting Harlem to be a place for the black people. Uh, he wants everyone not to pay their rent, not to use their shops or the doctors or the restaurants or anything and just let everyone leave town and just leave it to black people. He is just a bit fucking nutty. I don't know what is wrong with this man. Um, he's had other churches come and smack him down pretty much and he still just does what he wants. He's he, he, oh, nuts. I mean, around here someone probably would have already dragged him into a river and made him wear concrete shoes. Because that's just cray cray. And he still hates white people. So, from what I'm understanding of this man, he hates everyone. End of story. Um, but yeah, I could go on and on, but because there's four of us that all have to talk about him, let's leave something to someone else. So until next week, see you then. Bye! I wonder how many of you actually watched to hear because last week I fucked up in editing and somehow it just kept on going for like double the time and people actually watched right to the end including four minutes of black hoping there was a bonus scene. So if you've watched this far, down in the comments write, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a funny word that I would just love to see on the screen. So. I'll put a word here, and if I see that in the comments, I know you're all waiting for a few special scene.